Hi friends, today I am going to show you how to edit the context menu. Now, context menu is the menu when you right click on any file or folder or right click anywhere on the desktop. This context menu consists of several options, but uh, it happens that you don't want uh, all of the options present there. Because there are some unwanted options which get attached when you install a program and you don't want them and you want your context menu to appear short and tidy and to be useful uh, to be filled with useful items so I'm going to show you how to edit this context menu now uh, the context menu for a file and a folder and once you right click on the desktop are different so we'll go one by one by editing the context menu so uh, to start the process, first you have to open the registry editor. To open the registry editor, just search run and the search box, open run. Now type reg d reject it. This regedit. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your PC? Yes. Now this is this is this is the you know. Editor. Now what you have to do is to uh, go to this option, go to this location, H key class root shell X context menu handlers. You have to go to this location to edit the context menu. For, uh, the, uh, the, these uh, locations, these paths in the registry editor are written in the description of this video. You can copy the path from there. First, we have, will go to the first path. This is HK class root selects context menu handlers. Now, HK class root, this uh, star marked, then selects, and then context menu handlers expanded. Now, these are the options. Now, the name in the context menu, name of the items in the context menu, and these keys are not exactly the same. You have to just identify them. By, you know taking the hint from here for example this is something like a notepad plus plus 64 so this must be the option for the notepad so for example i don't want this edit with notepad plus plus option here so what i'm going to do is to just click here and then you have to just select it and then double click on this default once you double click pop-up opens for editing the string now in the value data just before the value data you have to enter a minus sign this is a very good thing because uh, if you edit any context menu and uh, after a certain period of time you want that context menu to reappear in the uh, you want that certain item to reappear in the context menu you just have to remove this minus sign in the future so I have put the minus sign here now click OK now go to the desktop this is gone the file is this option edit with notepad plus is gone now there are certain other things for example if you want to remove this just put a minus sign not going okay so you have to put minus sign here it's gone so by hidden trial you know uh, like uh, I said just uh, have to check it that which works for you now uh, I'll show you um, if, if you do not uh, find the keys here you can find the keys uh, at these location too. just go to these locations which are written there in description menu you can edit to context menu 